Some students are returning to school under a mask mandate, while other schools are making them optional, and some fell in between, requiring masks only for younger grades. Sarah Maki talked to parents from three different experiences about this first day of school. Seven-year-old Carson packed a mask for her first day at Festus Elementary. Though mom, Rhonda Fair, worried others wouldn't wear them in a mask-optional environment. Uh, I'm, honestly, I'm just disgusted and sick to my stomach. I really am. When she saw photos of the first day posted by the district on Facebook, showing most students maskless, she says it was her worst fear realized. I'm baffled. <laughs> That's all I can say is I'm baffled. It's a very good first day. I, I've given an A-. minus. There's always room for improvement. Superintendent Link Luttrell says he spent the day visiting schools and was impressed with the district's overall performance. Just to say that, that all of our mitigation measures start and end with a facial covering, that uh, there are so many other layers that, that are in place. There's no part of me that would want to work for the school district right now and have to make these decisions. So, I mean, I, I see how torn people are. Frances Howell mom, Aaron Cox, says their district is mandating masks for younger grades, meaning 11-year-old Aiden was required to wear one, while junior Emma did not. Cox says she didn't want any mask requirements, frustrated by the inconsistency in messaging. But she's teaching her kids to respect the rules. I mean, the kids are used to, unfortunately, the masks now, so it was just kind of like back to what we had at the end of the school year. Did I just hear a little more in the background? <laughs> Yeah, they're upstairs in the playroom. Angie Quigley is one of the parents who actually didn't start on the first day as expected, pulling four-year-old Colin from pre-K. It was a little bit heartbreaking for him. Her son spent a few months in school last year, but COVID numbers spiked and their district also picked a hybrid mask policy. They're trying to make the most amount of parents happy with trying to compromise. And unfortunately, right now with public health, it's not, it's not something that should be compromised on. She says they will return to school if the district changes their policy to align with CDC guidance. Reporting tonight, Sarah Maki, five on your side. Festus administrators notified parents that there were four active COVID cases in the district, though none of those students came to campus. The district has set certain positivity thresholds that would trigger a mask requirement. After just one week of classes,